So today, the Reserve Bank of Australia has announced that it's gonna cut the cash rate to an all-time low of 1.25%. This is in ending weeks now of speculation pretty much since before the federal election about what's been happening or what's gonna happen during, uh, to interest rates. Now, what I'm gonna be doing in this very short video is just be breaking down exactly what this means for you. If you're someone who's got a mortgage, how much this is gonna save you. If it's not gonna save you, with you someone in business, like how are, are the impacts of this cut, uh, cash rate cut gonna impact you? But before we get into that, let me just introduce myself very quickly. My name's Tim Guest, I'm Australia's leading financial educator. I have helped train over 18,000 people to achieve their financial goals, whether it be things like uh, home ownership, whether it be things like travel and lifestyle, or even early retirement, using only what they currently have available to them right now. Now, this is part of our Just Ask Tim video series, not answering a question, but just responding to the uh, interest rate cut today. But if you do want to get your question answered, uh, please send it through, depending on what platform you're watching this on. Make sure, of course, if you're a first time uh, tuning into our video, you either follow or subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on our future videos. And if you're a long time follower, welcome back. Thanks for all the interaction, all the questions that we see from you guys week in, week out. Absolutely love it. Thank you so much. Please keep it up. Please share these videos with your uh, uh, your friends and family and if you've got a question you want to get answered uh, by me live just please send it through and uh, I'll be happy to oblige but let's talk specifically about the interest rate cut and exactly what it's going to mean for uh, different uh, people out there so uh, Reserve Bank Governor Philip, Philip Lowe made the announcement this afternoon like I said there's been plenty of uh, weeks of speculation about what's been happening to the, the cash rate cut in, he, even uh, in his last uh, the minutes from the last meeting um, it became pretty clear that what the Reserve Bank was most likely going to do at this meeting was cut those interest rates. There's also some speculation about whether there might be some further cuts. I mean, essentially, the Reserve Bank, the reason why they're doing that is they're trying to meet their inflation target. So they have a target uh, inflation that they're always trying to meet, and that's, it really is a good, I guess, throttle on the economy. They're also looking to uh, continue to reduce uh, unemployment, strength of the economy for the um, the uh, the country at large. Now, of course, this is going to have flow-on effects to all sorts of different people um, in the country. Of course, if you've got a, uh, a mortgage and the cash rate now gets cut, it's going to save you some money. Depends on how much that'll pass on. ANZ have announced that they're not passing on the full rate cut. Full rate cut. Josh Frydenberg has already come out and kind of slammed them for not doing so. But CBA and the National Australia Bank have already announced that they're going to be passing on the full rate cut. Uh, full rate cut to their customers. If you've got about a five hundred thousand dollar loan, uh, probably going to be looking at around about saving about eight hundred and fifty odd dollars uh, a year on that. Now, of course, the the, the benefit is is that for people that have a mortgage, that are going to be saving money now. The interest rates are cut. That money is going to be available to spend in the economy. So this is going to flow on to business. It's going to help start to get things going in the business sector. Also for exporters uh, as well. If you're someone who uh, runs a business where you're exporting goods outside Australia, the interest rate cut is really good news. Essentially, when typically when interest rates low, it's going to bring the Australian dollar down, effectively making um, the products that we're exporting cheaper for overseas purchases. So this is really good for our exports as well. Um, and then, of course, what it's probably also going to do is they've been, particularly with the, the lead up to the federal election with um, the lending restrictions that APRA have had in place, it has obviously put a slowdown on the property market, mainly on the East Coast. Um, so the interest rate cut will probably uh, be one of the factors along with the, the cuts to um, uh, the assessment rates that uh, APRA are proposing. Um, and also the uh, threats that are gearing, which are now gone now that the Labor government have got in, really going to uh, put a, a pretty solid bottom on the uh, the market there, particularly in Sydney and Melbourne, and start to get it moving in the right direction. And those markets that have been kind of struggling to get really firing, like Perth and Brisbane markets, um, it should really start to ramp things up though for the property uh, the property markets there. First home buyers, this is going to be good news for as well. One of the um, the things that it won't help a lot of people think that the interest rate cut will actually help people to borrow more. It won't because of the uh, the, uh, the rules that APRA have got in place about the assessment uh, assess uh, the assessment rates that they um, work out people's eligibility on. However, currently they're going through that four week process of um, getting people's feedback on that, and it looks like that's going to get changed. Uh, probably about mid next month, something along those lines. So that will alter what people can borrow. I guess that the thing that is going to be a little bit hard for first home buyers is in terms of their savings when the cash rate cut, while it also it reduces the mortgage rate, it also reduces typically 
savings uh, interest rates that people are getting as well. So, uh, I mean, those rates normally don't help certain first home buyers too much, but it will put a little bit, make things a little bit difficult there. Um, uh, so that's how it's going to impact first home buyers. You know, people saving, obviously, their interest rates will be affected. Retirees potentially could be affected here. Probably not too much of an impact because most retirees do have their money typically in property or in the share market. Um, so it's, I think the interest rate cut will actually be good news for the share market as well there. Um, the only thing that you, you don't want to watch out for is if you've got a credit card, credit card interest rates are not affected by the uh, Reserve Bank interest rate cycles. So I don't think this is going to impact your uh, interest rate when it comes to your credit card at all. Guys, so like I said, just really br briefly detailing uh, the impact that the, the cash rate cut is going to have today on the different kinds of people out there. hope that kind of gives you a bit better of an idea. If you've got something more specific, please flick it through and I'll answer it uh, directly for you or even live during one of our broadcasts. But like I said, guys, thanks for tuning in. Please make sure you share. Please make sure you comment, question, like, love, ag, Marie, all that kind of stuff. We love to see you guys here. Uh, stay tuned for our weekend real estate videos, which are coming later on this week. But apart from that, guys... Thanks a lot. Have a great week. Spoke to, speak to you soon. Thanks. Ciao.